are fears being raised again that this new executive order that's been brought in could spur more people crossing the border illegally into our country? Well, we're, uh, we're uh, pursuing all of the details to make sure that we fully uh, understand the, uh, the impact of the order. Um, it, uh, it, would, it would appear at this moment that Canadian citizens uh, would not be uh, affected uh, compared to how they would normally be treated at the border. Uh, the same with dual citizens. Uh, with respect to uh, permanent residents, uh, they would be in the waiver waiverable category uh, and they uh, have always uh, had to obtain a, a visa for entry into the United States so that that would not substantially change the, uh, the process applicable to them. Uh, obviously, this is, a, this is a detailed matter with some, with some uh, uh, careful nuances, and we're going to be looking at all of the details so that we can provide Canadians with uh, complete information about everything they need. Regarding the Sorry. new U.S. immigration ban is going to put a, a halt on accepting refugees for four months. What do you anticipate that effect will have on Canada? Are you bracing for more refugees to come here because they can't go to the U.S.? We have uh, a very well-established process for dealing with refugees. Uh, there are there are circum sorry there are circumstances that uh, uh, that happen around the world all the time that may uh, affect this migration. Uh, we are living through a period of time when the uh, when the, uh, the the level of migration is probably at the highest it's been since the since the Second World War, uh, and uh, Canada has uh, over the last. Uh, period of time uh, dealt with that in an exemplary way. We have organizations like the UN High Commission for Refugees uh, saying that uh, our work in the last number of, of weeks, for example, in dealing with, uh, with uh, the, the border crossings at places like Emerson and, and La Colle, that that uh, work has been impressive, uh, that uh, it's been compassionate, and that uh, the people are being treated in an uh, appropriate manner. All Canadian laws are being enforced, and we are respecting all of our international obligations, and we will continue to behave in that way. Is there enough to suspend, is there enough to lift the uh, third safe country agreement now that they have changed the policy to not allow refugees in that, four months? That, that is a, 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 a policy area that is under the purview of the, the Minister of Immigration. Uh, but to this point, we have no information that would uh, uh, lead us to believe that that, uh, that that program is not properly in place.